I believe that successful people have to be delusional in order to have success. What do you mean delusional? I mean that you have to be a sellout. I think you have to sell out for your success. Yep, I absolutely do. You have to be one track minded, really focused on what you want. You have to have a desire, a burning desire to see your dreams manifest in your life. And it's exciting. You know, it's so much more exciting to be delusional than to be practical. When you are practical, you get nothing done. <laughs> when you're trying to get all the answers first before you make a step and move forward, then you get nothing done. You have to decide that you're going to just act and then let everything else fall into place. Delusional means that you don't listen to the naysayers. That means that you don't let the naysayers, which could be family and friends and close people who care so dearly about you and don't want to see you fail or fall or have any trip ups, then they may come in and say, hey, I don't think you should do this. Hey, I don't think I think you're getting too focused on this one thing. Maybe you should try something different. You can't let the naysayers get in the way and get you off focus. Singleness of vision is so important. When you have singleness of vision, that's when manifestation is at its highest, its peak performance for you. When I finally narrowed in on what it is I want, what do you want to do in life? What do you want? And even if you have to change, because you remember that our life zigzags, it's not just one straight path. So even if you have to change the thing that you're doing, it's okay. So when I first started, let me tell you my path. I owned um, a makeup store and it was amazing. I was one of the youngest um, females to own a makeup store in a mall. It was an entire makeup store in a mall. I was like one of the first people that started that concept. Makeup wasn't sold in the mall like Sephora's and Ulta and all that stuff today. I was like one of the first people that had a makeup store in the mall and I had custom blend foundation and it was almost like an anchor store. It was a huge glass in store and you could come to it and we would custom blend your foundation, custom blend your makeup and I had a makeup bar and you could see all the colors. It was absolutely grand and beautiful and I was 20 something years old. All right. And I built a million dollar makeup store in the mall, but I was delusional. I have all my friends told me I was crazy that I shouldn't do it. My dad had put money aside for us for 10 years before we graduated from college. And it was for us to like get our first house and that kind of thing. I took mine instead of getting a house, I moved into an apartment and took all my money and put it into my business, into this makeup store. Everyone told me I was crazy. Everyone said, you're delusional. Yes, I am. But it was successful. Hey, this is a perfect place to stop and tell you about my exciting Women in Wealth Club. This is the ultimate online community where you get personalized consulting, accountability, systems, and virtual assistance to keep you focused. We're probably more extreme about your goals than you're used to, but if you really want to get serious about your goals and achieve them in record-breaking time, then extreme is exactly what you need. So click the link below to reserve a spot. All right back to the video I rocked that thing and I was known and had all kind of things printed up for me in the paper then I went from there and opened up a full service salon I didn't even have license to do hair but I owned a salon and I hired people a barber a stylist and guess what I hired the top stylist in my city at the time the two top people who were the top stylist and hairdresser and barber in the city who both had their own shops. I convinced them to close them to come work in my shop and to run both of them, manage them both for me because I didn't have my license. But they came because my shop was gorgeous. I was into interior and design and all that kind of stuff. Absolutely fabulous. Anyway, long story short, they were successful. I was successful. All of us made bank very young and I proved a point that being delusional meant successful so you have to get focused 
you know, people think it's delusional when you're looking at a check, when you say, you know what, I'm going to attract and manifest this thing in my life. And you're looking at a check that you wrote to yourself over and over and over again. You're staring at it. It's on your wall. It's on your bathroom mirror. It's on your nightstand. And you just keep staring at that check and stare at that check and stare at that check and saying, I declare this is going to come to pass or I am successful and I have $10 million in my bank account. That seems like it could be delusional, but I'm telling you, it will cause you to be very successful. Or speaking to yourself. Man, if people walked in on me sometime when I'm doing mirror work, when I'm standing in front of that mirror and speaking to myself, especially in my early days, speaking my destiny, speaking my future, speaking what's going to happen, I still to this day have stickies down the side. I have a big mirror on purpose because I want to be able to fit all my stickies on it. I have like 15 stickies going down the side of my mirror and they're statements about my business and about things happening in my life, things coming to pass. And you know what I do? Sometimes those stickies get old because of my delusional acts. They manifest and they come to pass. So I take the sticky down and replace it with a new sticky goal, a new desire. Yes, you have to be one track minded. Find your focus. What is it that you want to do? Where, what do you want to attain in your life right now? Hone in on it. Focus on it. Put your whole heart into it. Write it out. Write your purpose plan. Write it in your journal. Sit down every morning for about five minutes. Open up that journal. Read that plan out loud. Close your eyes for another five minutes. See that in your life. See your life just as you planned it on paper. See it manifested in your life. Get up with excitement. Add some energy to this time. Be excited and go expecting something to happen every day toward that plan. Whatever comes to your mind that you hear, whatever gut feeling you get to do, whatever instructions you feel on the inside from your intuition, go after them, do them. And let people call you delusional, but let them watch your delusion cause your desires to manifest. I believe that it takes that kind of focus to have success in your life. That's what my coaching, my training, my workshops, and even my Women in Wealth Club, that's what it's all about. It's all about teaching people how to hone in on success in certain areas until they get it. And we always get results. Yes, always. We always get results because we're delusional. All right. So I want you to practice this week. Focus. Find out what your cause is. Hone in on one big thing. And even if it's a few things, at least write it down. So you have this is the purpose picture and plan for my life. Put it in your journal. Look at it every single, just promise me that you'll commit to looking at it every single day. Speak to it and declare it's yours and get excited like it's already happened. Pull out those checks and write yourself one. It's not going to hurt you to write yourself a check and carry it around with you. It doesn't hurt anybody. So why not do it? You don't have to feel stupid or feel silly for anybody else. It's your check. Keep one in your wallet. Keep one on your nightstand until that check becomes your reality. All right, Jim Carrey wrote a $10 million check and he used to go in Hollywood Hills and kind of look over Hollywood and be like, I'm going to get paid for services rendered. I'm going to do some service in the area of acting and they're going to pay me $10 million. Well, hey, Dumb and Dumber paid him $10 million. That wasn't dumb, was it? <laughs> he got over $10 million and he manifested that because he saw it. He spoke it. People would have called him delusional. Writing yourself a check, looking over Hollywood Hills, thinking that money's going to really come to you, thinking you're going to be a big time actor. Well, it worked. He was one track minded, framed himself, focused, and it came to pass. Another example was, have you seen the movie Air? Ugh, I watch it for this one part. This is what I just keep watching this one part over and over again, where Michael Jordan's mom, everyone thought she was delusional. She asked for in the contract that they make a shoe for Michael with Michael Jordan's name on it, but that he would get royalties on the shoe forever. 
and they tried to talk her out of it and she was like one track very focused on it happening well you know what she got what she asked for she got that contract and i believe that michael jordan's riches to this day have a lot to do with not just playing in the nba and playing basketball but it has to do with those contracts that his mother was delusional about <laughs> she was focused and helped make that happen for him that was a game changer for him game changer in his life for the amount of money that started coming and pouring into his life i believe that ideas will come to you like that you'll ask for things that have never been asked for before and get it doors will open for you that have never been open for anybody else in that way but you'll open the new door that'll make a pathway for other people but it comes with focus focus effort and sticking to what you want not moving not budging even when people th say or talk about or speak of or think you're delusional own it i am i'm gonna write the checks i'm gonna say the affirmations i'm gonna ask for what i want i'm gonna close my eyes i'm gonna see and believe i'm gonna manifest those things that i desire they're gonna happen in my life and i'm telling you if you stay right there it will happen for you as well try it for at least 30 days and i promise you you're gonna be just oh my gosh shocked at the results that you're gonna get thank you so much for watching this video if you like this one you're gonna love the other ones i'm telling you they're exciting also click the link below and check out my free offer i have something really exciting i want to get to you